everybody. Rob Taylor here from Team Taylor and Keller Williams Capital District, and welcome to our Market Monday report. Today is April 20th, and we are talking about all the activity that happened last week, which was the 10th through the 17th. So uh, let's get right into it. As always, we're talking about single family houses only, and our source is the Global MLS. Um, today, uh, as we look back at last week, the thing that really jumps off the page at me this week was that we are progressing, we're figuring out how to move forward with this COVID-19 uh, and how to sell houses, buyers, sellers, and listing agents. Agents in general are working together to push this thing forward. So this week we had more activity more pending transactions than last week. And last week was pretty good. If you remember our monthly report from last month, we said we were really on pace with last year. So that is pretty remarkable given the circumstances that we are buying and selling houses under currently. So when we look at this, this week we had 113 properties go under contract for the week 113 in all the five counties that we cover being saratoga albany schenectady fort montgomery county we put as one and then rensselaer county so when we look at last year this time because again we want to keep a good pulse on where we are in relatively speaking to the past so last year there were 176 transactions during the same week last year that was 113 this year so when we look at it that way we are behind 63 sales lower this year than we were last year but again given the totality of everything that's happened that's pretty good now that we're talking about just for the week so when we look at the month numbers in a couple weeks from now It'll really start, I think, paint a picture as to maybe the effect uh, that this uh, shutdown is happening, is having. But the good note is from last week to this week, we have went up. So we're starting to uh, really uh, take advantage of the virtual uh, listing opportunities, showing opportunities and we're able to get houses sold and under contract. I know here at Team Taylor, we actually have been doing excellent during this slowdown and uh, we will continue to do the things that have been successful. So as we, again, look at the numbers, one of the other things that I like to, I liked that I noticed was in Albany County, they actually have doubled. In the last week, they've doubled the amount of pending transaction. Uh, they went from 15 last week to 33 this week. So very, there's a very good trend there. And when we look at this week, last year for Albany County, uh, they were 47 in the week a year ago, 33 this week. So we're heading in the right direction to get back on track when, it, you know, compared to when it was uh, a more normal market last year. So Saratoga County is another one. Uh, if I told you that in Saratoga County right now, there were over a thousand listings, we feel pretty good about that. Last year at this same time, there were 1,077 listings available in Saratoga County. Right now we're at 1,053. So not that big a discrepancy. We still do need more houses, but certain areas have rebounded very well and starting to see more and more properties on the market. Um, the only county uh, that is pretty much the same as last year, Fort Montgomery County. Fort Montgomery County's last year at this time had 262 properties available. This year they have 261. That's pretty, pretty remarkable that it could be that consistent given everything that's going on. And the other thing that I thought that we, you would find of interest is we are, as we look at each county individually, we're starting to one, see more consistency in which areas are gonna be affected the most and which areas seem to uh, be just impervious to this 
COVID-19 ramifications. They just keep moving along at a pretty steady pace. And that is important if you're thinking about buying or selling or you know somebody who's thinking about buying or selling, you got to be able to know how to use this to see where it's going to give you your best uh, options as far as selling or buying and how to take this data and turn it into something that is of use to you and not just uh, you know a broad view. So for example, Saratoga, one thing you'll notice, is I don't think we saw any red last week. So now you get to see what the red is. So red means there were no sales in that particular category for the week. So for example, in Saratoga County, let's make this big right now. And so we will look at this. Saratoga County, Mechanicville and Stillwater. Okay. Um, there were no sales for the week. So that means that, you know, again, is, is that mean that the month is scratched? No, it just means for this week. Now, if we get to the monthly numbers and there are still red, there was no transactions for the month, then that could be something that you really want to take notice of if you're in these areas. Uh, also in Saratoga County, how about, to about contrast, no sales in Mechanicsville and Stillwater, Schuylerville had a $1.8 million sale this past week. So, um, that is pretty cool. Let's look at what 1.8 million gets you in Schuylerville. And what we notice right here is we have a, a farm. So that makes sense that we would, uh, if we are gonna have a sale like that, that it would be a farm. But let's look at some of these pictures here. So the first thing when you hear $1.8 million, what you're thinking is that it's going to be some, you know, huge mansion or something like that. But right outside of Saratoga, uh, we know that horse horsing is important. And so this is a hundred acre farm, the house, three bedrooms, two baths, but really what you're buying when you buy this property is you're buying what is outside. And so I uh, thought that was pretty cool. We always like to show you, what uh, the highest sale for the month and the week is, but pretty outstanding property. And uh, I mean, this right here is outstanding. So uh, that's what Saratoga provides you for 1.8 million, well, right outside in Schuylerville. So congrats on that sale. Let's go back to uh, look at some of the other areas. Albany County, very consistent uh, this past week. They, uh, their high sale was in Voyageville, uh, almost 900,000, but they had no red, which is good. Every segment had activity and every school district had activity as well as Schenectady. Um, I would say that as far as Schenectady goes, we know that for this period last year compared to this period now, that Schenectady had the most active listings reduction or most active listings not there. So for example, last year, Schenectady at this time had 423 active properties for sale. This year, there are only 321. So that was the biggest drop from one year to the next in all the counties. Matter of fact, the total difference was 230 properties for all the counties. So all the counties, the difference was 230 less properties this year. Schenectady has over a hundred of them. And then if you add in Rensselaer County, that equated to about 70% of all the reduction. So that tells me the other counties are pretty on pace for where they were last year as far as number of active listings available for them. But again, with that being said, Schenectady still 21 sales for the week. Every price point had some activity and the, uh, you know, their high sale in this unit of 430,000, not bad at all. So one of the things that's interesting, normally Schenectady County, your most activity is your zero to 100,000. Zero to 100,000, there were no sales, even in the city of Schenectady for the week and only one total for the whole price point. So that right there, uh, I want like to keep an eye on that. Is it that there is not as many 
properties that people are looking at in this lower price range. I mean, right now, Schenectady has 38 active listings under 100,000, but there were no sales this past week. So keep an eye on that and see what we think uh, is causing those things. Lastly, what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about Fort Montgomery County and uh, and Rensselaer County. Little Red here, Mayfield and Johnstown, no sales for the week. Uh, overall, little light on the sales, uh, 10 overall for the week, nothing over 400,000. Uh, the high sale for the week was right under in Northville at 399.9. So I guess we can kind of say it's 400, it just wasn't over 400. So we'll keep an eye on that, make sure consistently we can stay red free in those uh, counties. And then Rensselaer County, only Rensselaer itself uh, was the school district that did not have any sales. And then there were no sales between 150 and 200,000. So overall, pretty good week uh, compared to last week. Compared to last year, we're down quite a bit, but we will keep an eye on that. And we'll see you next Monday to uh, see which way we're trending then. Until then, if you know anybody who is looking to list their house, thinking about selling, want to know what their best options are, we'd love to help interpret this data for them. And we would love to uh, help you or anybody you know out as well. So feel free, please subscribe uh, to us and uh, leave us some comments. We'd love to hear some feedback and we'll talk to you very soon. Have a great week.